Hello everyone. I hope you're all well and you're having a lovely day. I'm after Flora and welcome to the channel. Alu tikka is a um, very famous uh, street food sold all over India. Let's do it my way, very healthy with very few drops of oil in it and uh, with a minimum effort and let's get that maximum taste. Yum. the alu uh, means potatoes in indian language and uh, then tikki is a word for anything small circular shape i'm going to talk you through as i cook along so it is important that you stay with us throughout because then you can see how and where i'm adding particular ingredients and i'll also explain you the reasons behind this in here i boiled some potatoes whole with the skin on and once they were cooled down up peeled them grated here add plain boiled rice just mix them in goes one green chili which i have uh, cut it very um, thinly coriander powder chaat masala I have got this uh, box to show you that you can actually pick them up from the shops but I tend to make my own chaat masala now if you haven't got any chaat masala by all means use some fresh lemon juice uh, or uh, you may have some uh, mango powder use that because you want the sharpness or the sourness coming another ingredient that is going to go in here is the Uh, roasted and then dried cumin seeds that they're releasing that beautiful um, aroma and the oils have released so that goes in there now as soon as i throw the onions uh, they are going to start releasing some moisture okay so mix it throw in the carrot for that crunchy taste I'll come back to this heat the pan use some gram flour and dry roast it this will act as a binding agent because obviously there is some uh, moisture in the ingredients that we've got in the bowl and uh, you want something that will uh, bind the tikki together besan gives you that really yummy taste Now the reason why I'm roasting is potatoes and rice are already cooked. I haven't got the raw taste from the besan coming uh, into the tikkis, and you got to be very careful. Uh, keep mixing it, otherwise it will burn. I can tell it is all nicely roasted. It will be gentle on the stomach when, once you've eaten. Then this besan goes into my mixture there and mix it. thoroughly throw the salt in throw in some um, fresh coriander chopped including the stems because stems have got the most flavor in them and mix it tikki mixture is done sample it for the seasoning the next is uh, you want to roll these into little balls it's not actually sticking to my hands so that's it that is the consistency that you want the rice i would use the ratio of 3 to 1 so three parts of uh, boiled potatoes Uh, grated potatoes and one part of the plain boiled rice now the next bit is to throw some fine semolina in there you may want to use bread crumbs if you are really stuck uh, but this is going to come out so crispy and so yummy dip them into the semolina and i'm just going round so there is my tikki that's what the tikki is nice 
round shape and uh, it has got nice edges to it as well. From that much uh, ingredients, I've got roughly about 18. There is some depth to it as well. The reason being, when I'm going to cook them now, they will go really, really crunchy and crispy from the outside layer. And inside there, you will have the, uh, the, the mixture coming out now. The whole speciality about the tiki is, it has to be really crispy uh, and crunchy from outside. And then you get the melt in the mouth uh, potatoes and together with flavors coming from the spices that we have added. The next step is, I tend to put only a few drops of oil, brush it and place the tikkis on there very gently on a gentle heat. It is hot enough. At the same time, you do not want it to be too hot because that will burn the um, the outer surface straight away. Uh, so there we go. And I tend to just turn them upside down gently. Tiny drops of oil because I want that fried texture to this. Those tikkis are done now and they're releasing really, really beautiful um, aromas. They are ready to be plated. I've got the tikkis on the plate as well as I've got um, some dips, which I'm going to show you now how you would be plating up your uh, uh, tikki food. is four dimensional. You have the appearance, it has to be really inviting the beautiful aromas coming out of the food and the taste and also the layers of um, different textures as well. Start off with yogurt on them. Plenty of yogurt. And then on there, sweet and sour tamarind um, chutney. So you have the, the sweetness there. Then, this is where the heat is going to come from. This is the green chutney. I have already done a recipe. Do refer to that, uh, some pomegranate seeds, of course. I have the tartiness and the sweetness coming out of those, as well as it's giving, going to give me that extra crunch. Some fresh coriander. And another layer of texture, some crunchy uh, noodles. Or more sweet, I can adjust that. And if I want to have some more yogurt, that can be adjusted as well. And if I want to have some more uh, heat, that can be adjusted. This is how you would plate it um, just before serving. Wow. I am really impressed with my own tiki, alu tiki tart here. I'm dying to actually taste it, eat it hope that you've enjoyed and thank you for being with us um, do subscribe feel free to share and uh, put your comments there like give us a thumbs up until the next time uh, god bless you all do take care and bye bye for now